Hi guys, welcome to the Humanity. My name is Ever and today we are going to try the Mark Art colored pencils. So I do not have the packaging any longer because I did get them for my birthday. So I've had them since my birthday and I put them in a case. So I'm just gonna pull the case over here for a minute so you can see. These are the Mark Art pencils. I realized belatedly that getting rid of the case also got rid of the colors and the names of the colors because they don't have names on the barrel. Let me show you the barrel if I can because it's very glittery gold. It just says focus. It says focus. It says made in China, expert. There's a number right there, but there's no color name. So kind of sucks just a little bit um, I think there's a list out on the internet that has the numbers and the, and the names but here are the colors lots of really nice purples and blues and then there's the browns and I got my gold fiber in here too so ignore that part and lots of good grays and what the cool thing I saw in this set is you know every set you get a silver and you get a gold shiny silver and gold right well in this guy you also get bronze how cool is that so I have silver gold and bronze and I've already used the bronze pencil it's really nice so I thought I would show you guys what it how they look on just some good old Amazon paper plus it gives me an excuse to color in my new book that I haven't colored in yet but I know that once I get started, I'm going to blow through this book pretty quick. I'm very excited about this book. Um, I mentioned it on Instagram, but when I saw a flip and I saw colored pictures from the Easter book and the spring book where there were little sheep and little lambs, and I thought, oh man, I love the way she draws the sheep and the lambs. Maybe she'll do a farmer's book. She did a farm book. I'm so excited about this book. I just did a flip should be on my channel it's just with some music and I generally try to do the nameplate pages first in these books I don't know if I'm going to color this one in order probably not because after I do this book there is a picture of a donkey flying a kite that I have to color look I, I have to color that picture it's so cute so let me park myself and get comfy here and get started. Now I have colored with these pencils. I'm currently using them to color in grains of gold by Hannah Carlson and the lay down on that paper is very nice. Um, the lay down on cardstock, I believe 65 pound cardstock is beautiful. Um, I have a picture that Abe drew um, that is not safe for work and therefore not safe for YouTube. Um, but they drew it in and said, hey, do you want to color this? And I was like, yes. Because if you don't know, I love coloring things that Abe draws. So um, I colored it and I will say that the color went down very nicely on the cardstock. These pencils do. So I'm just starting with Miss Cow because cow. I could make it a brown cow, but I'm going to just make it a normal cow. Now this is the first time I have tried these pencils on regular Amazon paper. I don't believe I did any choppy fluff monsters with these pencils. I may have and for have forgotten because, you know, actually, yeah, take that back. I did. I did a picture in choppy fluff monsters. Um, I believe volume one with these pencils and the lay down was beautiful it was fantastic um, and I did a little blending I think I think one of the dinosaurs the two dinosaurs I did were orange but then like the feathers were tipped in red and it blended very very nicely and so I don't even have to do much cross hatching for this to get the colors to really fill in. I guess I do have to do a little bit here. I take that back. But they do fill in very nicely. And they're not 
terribly scratchy, at least not on this paper. Um, and of course, if I'm working, when I'm working, usually in like the Hannah Carlson books, I get stuff super pointy and uh, sharp, especially if I'm going into tiny spaces, which happens a lot in her book. So, but I do think that this is, these are going down very, very well. I did not um, swatch these. I do not usually swatch my stuff. It's just not, it's not something I started doing with anything that I particularly bought and I don't, with the amount of colored pencils that I own, going back and swatching now would make, would drive me insane. So I feel like it's something that I really needed to be doing from the beginning and I didn't. So I'm not gonna just jump in and start swatching. So I generally will have a piece of cardstock near me to swatch as I go, um, just to see like where the colors lie, how they lie to go, how they go together, how they blend. I'll do blending on there too, just to see um, how they, you know, will work together. And I, like I said, the blending on this has been has been really nice. Now I don't uh, do a lot of the fancy coloring with say, you know, like burnishing a lot and like layering and layering, layering. I don't, I haven't really got to that point in my coloring, so I cannot tell you how these do in that manner. Um, so I, I apologize, I cannot give you that insight, but you know. I can say that on this paper, it is very, very favorable. Um, this is very, very nice. I'm very, it's one of those things where I think I saw someone else talking about them on the good old YouTube and I thought, oh, I'll put them on my wish list. They're For 120 pencils, I think it's like $30. It was fairly standard slash not that expensive. And I'm very pleased with the um, the color selection. I'm impressed with the bronze. I think that's really cool. I wish that more people would do that. I just think that's pretty neat. I think I'm going to use this green for the corn stalks too. And I just realized corn. Corn is yellow. Yellow is the bane of my coloring existence. So this is going to be an interesting situation. And I realized I forgot to color her hooves. Or their hooves. I don't know. It could be a boy cow, a girl cow. I don't know. Now it would be really cute if you were going with a theme of like a light pastel -y theme to do this cow and you know dark blue spots with pastel blue body or you know something like that I think would be super cute in this book I don't know I might go in that direction with some of the guys in here because there are some cute baby chicks that are jumping rope and instead of doing them in just you know yellow yellowish chick baby chick yellow I could do them green and blue or purple and pink or something funky like that. These, I feel like her books tend to lean in that direction where you can do kind of funky colors with it. My favorite thing about uh, coloring in Camila Angel Cova's books is when you when you go into the miniatures books your f one of your first thoughts is what color should the eyes be? Like that's the first thing I think of is like, I want to color the eyes. What should I color the eyes? Well, in this case, I'm going to color the eyes blue. So it's going to be a pretty blue eyed cow. And this is a really nice light blue. And I will say in some cases, in le until you start getting into the browns, Everything uh, that's on the pencil generally is coming out. It's sort of an on the, you know, what it says on the tin, but then when the browns get a little funky, you start getting into the real red browns and you ha kind of have to 
check the swatch on the inside of the tin. They didn't. It w there wasn't a swatch sheet. It was just um, they were swatched on the inside of the tin with the names and the numbers, and it was kind of hard to read. Um, so I'm not too too fussed about it. But now they have pretty eyes, and let's finish the flower. I hope you guys can see this okay. I'm just running with the one light right now because I noticed if I use my big LED light that I have sitting here that it washes it out for you guys. And it's like, that's no fun because then you can't see what's going on. Now I'm, I'm laying down the pink a little harder than I would usually just so you guys can kind of see. I think they're greatly pigmented. I think the, the pigment in these are just, especially with the pinks, and that green is just so vibrant. And this is a very vibrant pink. So I wanted to sort of give you guys an idea of what it looks like when you're putting down, when you're laying down some color and putting down some pressure. It comes out very vibrant and pretty. So let's light pink up those ears though, because it's a cute creature and you have to give it pink inside its ears. That's just how these go. But yeah, this book is superbly cute. It came out technically on my birthday. It was the published date according to Amazon, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, but I saw... I think I saw the post that she made, that Camila made about it. With like, hey, this is my new book. And I was like, oh, farm book. And ordered it right away. Part I'm just off camera doing a little swatching of the browns. Trying to figure out the middle of the what I consider to be sunflower-ish sunflowers type of flowers. So therefore they're going to have brown middle. But they're just laying down. Again, I'm laying this one down kind of heavy too. Just so you guys can get idea of how this looks. And of course I'm filming a video and Storm is terribly quiet, probably in his window watching the outside. We have all the windows open, well most of the windows open. So there will be bird sounds I'm sure floating in. So we have our birds hanging out with us. This is kind of turning into a color in chat. I. I don't want to go on too too much about the product and put everybody to sleep, but so I guess these let's tries can sort of turn into a nice color and chat. I like that idea though. Uh, my next let's try is going to be the Crayola Take Note and Glitter Markers because I did have somebody, I believe Anne, ask uh, about seeing the glitter markers in action. So I will probably film that either later tonight or tomorrow and just do like a simple picture with the markers probably in this book let's let's be honest I feel like this week if I'm not doing the diamond painting that I'm working on that I'm probably going to be working in this book I do have to finish my grains of gold picture but um, it life is probably going to be sucked up by farm pictures for a little while um, because this book is, this book is incredibly adorable, guys. I can't, I can't get over it. I, I don't have a lot of her miniatures books. I'm working on it. Don't worry. It's not a, um, that's not a permanent problem. But um, I have, I finished Autumn miniatures last year. I have Safari miniatures, which I'm going to try to finish this year. I also have Halloween, and Christmas, miniatures, and I love all of them so much. Um, they're some of my favorite books to work in when you just want to do a little something. You don't want to go too wild and crazy with, you know, lots of detail and lots of shading. And because you can do that on this too, don't get me wrong. You could go wild with all that stuff too. But this definitely uh, lends itself to just some fun, simple coloring. 
And it's good for trying out. I like I like her books for trying out mediums. Um, I will say it's kind of a cheat in a way because the the Amazon paper can be kind of forgiving um, in a lot of ways. So, you know, there could be sins that would be forgiven. Now, I'm probably going, I'm going to set this pencil aside and I'm probably going to go back with the yellow underneath the LED because I am fairly positive there is a lot of white space hanging out here that I can't see because of the lighting. So you know how that goes. So I'm gonna set this one aside, but I am going to put in some shady bits with a different color. And I'm gonna set this color aside because this is the color that I want for my corn. This is, feels very maze-like. So yeah, I am really impressed with these pencils. I'm probably going to use them a majority of the time for a little bit. Um, the next set I'm probably going to get to try is the Amazon Basics because I've heard that they're very good too for for a uh, budget pencil because I think they're the set that I have in my wish list and I forget I think it might be a 48 or a 72 set it's like $20 and I've heard that they're actually pretty good quality so that you know when the time comes, it's probably going to be a little bit before I start diving into more again. I put all my pencils that were in cups and you know, in those um, really nice organizers that I got and realized, whoo, there's a lot of pencils. So, you know, I'm going to use through these and make use of them more and more. But yeah, I, I like them. I will say if you're in for a budget pencil that comes in a lot of really nice shades for 120 does include that fancy bronze which I works really well I used it as, for the body jewelry on the naughty picture and it just looked really cool so um, I I feel like that bronze pencil if you do a lot of steampunk coloring will get just obliterated you're just going to use that pencil a lot because it just lays down really nicely and looks really cool so so yeah I think I'm going to uh, not necessarily finish this picture because it will take me a little while to finish it I have to take a dinner break because there is soup on the menu homemade soup which and is finished uh, which is finished, which means I'm finished because I am going to go get some homemade chicken soup. Um, but yeah, Mark Art, I will leave a link in the description to the 120 set uh, Amazon link, not an affiliate, just if you're curious about them and you want to try them out. Um, I would recommend them, obviously not for a, a hardcore um, colorist that has been doing this for, you know, a lot of years and stuff. If you are a a polychromos prismacolor person these probably won't be for you but um they're a step up from say crayola and crazy art so you know if you want to give a new set of pencils a try i would definitely go for these if you enjoyed this video guys i please would appreciate a little thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed go ahead hit the red subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time soup's on